Hi everyone, a art journal page, another one. Yesterday I've done this one and I had lots of leftovers from the painty paper and I don't, didn't want them to go back into my stash so I just took them and uh, done the same thing I've done in this background and just uh, glued them in uh, to, to printer paper, they are just yellow but these are a uh, printer paper so I uh, just thought uh, about not uh, having lots of uh, little pieces uh, going around but by the time I finished doing uh, these two uh, I had an idea yeah one of my crazy ideas and I'm going to try and use them for another uh, art journal page only this time it will be different I'm going to use this to make my um, elements and I'm hoping for flowers uh, leaves and we'll see what else uh, first I want to start with the background and I want to keep it in line uh, with what I've done here which was scraping pa uh, paint on paper that's uh, how I have uh, the paint I made the painty papers so I'm going to keep with it and that's how I'm going to make my background. Let's just put some something underneath and this is someone asked me this is just a sketch pad, sketch a notebook, whatever. I find that it's a good enough for me to art journal in and it's something cheap that I can uh, pick up in my cheap store. So, no uh, special uh, <laughs> paper. So, I've got, a, let's see, I've got some deep green, some turquoise, another um, green, what it says, emerald green, whatever. And I'm going to put a little bit of each one here. And let's hope I will have a nice outcome. Now I haven't gessoed uh, my page which maybe will be a problem I don't know yet because if it's not gessoed then my paint is going to be won't move as smoothly and it can be absorbed into the page quite quickly but let's see what happens and I'm thinking yeah I this is the same a uh, plastic card I just a uh, cut it and I'm thinking of using this one because I've got a large page here I don't want to wait all day so I'm just scraping paint and I'm taking now uh, from both uh, all the colors I think it gives a more interesting effect but you can if you are not sure you can always take a uh, each paint each color uh, separately it doesn't have to be together so uh, there is not much a uh, you can't see much uh, a difference between the colors which is not good not what I was aiming for so uh, but I'm going to keep covering my page and then I'll just go back in and I think I will add lighter tones in the middle but right now I'm just keeping at it I'm scraping uh, excess paint and I need more oh yeah I have a lot here haven't noticed so at least I have a very quick coverage <laughs> for my page but still I want 
a little uh, darker color uh, to the edges of my page and lighter color um, for the middle it doesn't have to be exact but it just and I also want to see the movement of the scraping I hope I'm in frame and you can see wh <laughs> what I'm doing so I'm adding from the darker color to my edges and I think I will take now well, first I will take a baby wipe because now <laughs> I'm covered with paint. Bear with me. Okay, so lighter color and for the middle without wasting paint on my hand. So putting down from this color here and let's take another plastic card so I'm adding the lighter color here in the middle and I'm spreading it not trying to blend things that's not the purpose and I've got a white spot here that's bothering me here we go and you can hear my boys in the back I think it's already two weeks that they don't uh, go to school but at least they have uh, study online yeah and I think I need just a little bit of more light in the middle so I'm thinking let's add some white just a little bit okay so I've got this and I'm being very careful with it because I'm not aiming to have white splotches here on my page yeah so that's my background and it needs to dry before I'm doing anything to it so I'm moving it aside and now I'm going to work on making my elements and I'm thinking flowers and I'm thinking I'm messing <laughs> and <laughs> smearing paint here all around let's remove this also yeah okay so of course I have a lot of in my hand so my idea is to uh, cut I've got this a uh, punch this is three inch uh, circle don't have punch just trace some circle that you want and uh, cut it this will be just uh, faster so that's what I am using the punch but if I had didn't have it I will just trace a circle and fussy cut it so I'm thinking I want at least three flowers and I it's the first time I'm doing this kind of a flower from a circle and and we'll see if it works so my ID for a flower and I'm going to flip it over so you will see what I'm talking about I'm going to cut I think something 
like that out and then cut it like this let's see if it works if I will have an interesting flower so I've got this this one and this one and my idea was that this would be the flower and then I will place this something like that and abstract a flower and I like it and I'm going to do it so again I'm just going to do the same thing I'm uh, putting it this this way just so it will help me uh, see what what I'm cutting out as you can see I'm not measuring anything Okay, and this is just the beginning. I'm planning on doing shading for this, and uh, I also want to do, as I said, uh, leaves from uh, this. So I've got three uh, three uh, flowers right now that I'm going to put to the side. And again, I'm uh, basing this on circles. I'm going to do the leaves from circles and I have another ID and we'll see how it works. Let's see. I'm going to punch another circle. Let's see if this crazy ID that I had is going to work. I'm uh, just folding it in the center like this and let's see I want some kind of leaf maybe yeah something like that let's see okay so I've got two leaves and what I had another idea is to take the uh, remaining piece this one and maybe just maybe I'm not sure if it will work do something like another kind of I don't know flower or a I don't know something like that we'll see if I will use it or not and I'm going to uh, doodle on this and I'm going to shade to do shading on this so we'll see how it goes right now I need more more leaves so I'm going to punch more uh, circles out of this again just folding it's just easier this way but you don't have to and doing this kind of thing so more leaves this I will put aside I'm not sure that I will use it still have a, a lot uh, here and I really like it I don't want it to go to waste so I'm I have another uh, punch this one is two inch let's see if I can take something a little bit more of a of this 
and maybe I will do some smaller flowers not sure yet as I said I'm going to use whatever <laughs> as many as I can from as much as I can from these scraps because right now they are moving into the scraps category <laughs> So I've got three uh, circles and I think I will just do from whatever left over I will take some leaf shape using everything as you can see all sizes I'm not measuring I don't care So I'm going to cut all these pieces and then I'm going to come back. I'm back. So I've got my, fl my flowers, I've got uh, some leaves here and I decided to go over and do the edges with black and I'm using a permanent uh, marker. I, I'm only taking the pieces and just going over the edges. So it will be more defined. You can also uh, use a makeup sponge with a, with an ink pad. Whatever you uh, like to use, it will also if you are using a makeup sponge with a black ink pad, then you can also do the shading. Right now, I just want to go over the pieces, over the edges, and just do a quick contour uh, line. So basically, that's the placement of, I think, will be of the uh, three uh, flowers. And I'm thinking of doing the stems also with the black permanent marker. I don't know if it will be um, noticeable enough on this background, but if not, then I will take a, a something else and add. Right now, I want to try and see how I'm doing the stems. And I have just taken a white pencil so I, I will have some guideline. Yeah, something like that. And I haven't glued the pieces yet. I just want to know where the placement of each one will be. Yeah, something like that. And I also have the leaves that I need to go over the edges the same way and start playing again with the placement of each one still don't know if I will use the smaller uh, flowers because these three are quite dominant on this page so this is just a playing right now with the placement and let, let's see if I have more uh, space to put in the smaller uh, flowers maybe let them go against this movement something like that they look like Pac-Man <laughs> okay maybe like this and let's see no this one is more beautiful so I'm uh, taking this one and maybe something like that 
yeah so I, th that's going to be a uh, most of my uh, placement I'm not sure how many leaves I'm going to put it's quite busy right now I want I want first to see how I'm uh, placing uh, the flowers I think so I'm going to take out the leaves and I'm going to draw the stems like this and that's why I haven't glued the pieces yet because a lot of time I have a stem that will just get in the way yeah here we go so now I know where everything goes in terms of uh, my uh, flowers so I'm going to uh, glue them down and then I'm going to come back and we'll see what we are going to do about the leaves I'll be back I'm back so all the pieces are in place and glued down I only went with the uh, the same a uh, permanent black marker around my page just to tie everything down I still have a few leaves here I'm thinking about using them to cut them in half and using them as a border here not sure yet first uh, I want to uh, give some shading to my pieces and I'm going to use the Stabilo all-purpose a uh, pencil and I'm just going to put down uh, the shading underneath my pieces or for each piece on the bottom of each piece like so and first I'm putting this down and then I will take a fine brush with water and activate it I'm going quite quick about it. It really is n it's not an exact science. Just something to give a little bit more um, depth to my uh, pieces so they won't look uh, completely flat. And I think it also will make them a, a little bit uh, stand out more on my page I hope I haven't forgotten anything no it seems like it's okay so uh, let's see so some kind of brush and a little bit of water not too much water and activating it You really need a really small amount of water. You don't want puddles. Basically, this is it for my page. I just need to <laughs> make up my mind if I want to add the border from the leaves or not. Let's see. 
too much yeah just smearing it a little bit more yeah this is it so do I want the border or not <laughs> can't make up my mind no I will leave it be maybe if in a later date I will look at it and I will feel that it's missing then I'll add it and I want something to write something here and well let's see I I'll be back <laughs> I'm back so I only wrote imagination here uh, with uh, this. This is a calligraphy felt pen by Zig. It's gold and that's it. That's my page. I really like it. I still have another page of all these uh, scraps that I can use and I'm really liking this effect. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.